Okay, this is Scorpion self-defense garment, uh, front two-handed choke. I'm gonna strip the hands off. What do I do? Come over the top, make my hand to my loop, clipping through, two hands on the loop, stripping hand down and away, controlling the hand. That hand's control, both hands are binded together. Next, I'm gonna be a little closer. He's a little closer to me now, a little close to seeing choke. And now I get the, the uh, luxury of using my tool to blast the eyes, blast under the nose, blast in the mouth, or onto the neck to, uh, to push him away. Most importantly is to push him away. Then I lock in with my fingers and I cause a front trait choke with the rope. That's straight on, in front. Next, I'm even closer. I come behind the neck, make it to my loop, and I do what we all, most of us know as a gi choke. It's my knuckles inside both arteries, and I close uh, uh, similar to a triangle. Next, same idea, I'm a little closer. I bring it around as if I'm gonna do that type of uh, gi choke, but instead I take my forearm and I use what we call the paper cutter. Straight in and push. That would be straight on. Next, I come under the arm, and we're, we're in a more grapple range. This is as close as I can get for this piece. I pull bottom to top. I put it between the two of us. He still doesn't know that anything's happening until right about now, where I make it to my hand. Start to pull down. He starts to strip away. A lot of times I'll hold this side, keep his arm bent, and I'll escort him out with pressure on the neck. Good. Another good feature is to just get completely behind them. I'll use the same exact technique. Under, I pull from the bottom to the top. I make it to my other hand, and now I simply strip away and get behind. On this get behind piece, I stop my paper cutter again, and I start to pull. Real important. Last piece on this type of um, segment. I'm gonna come under, I'll come over and through, and I'll get in front. And now at this point, this hand starts to just pull away, push away. And that adds the choke right away onto the neck. I like that one. Next, we call this one the lawnmower. Now, instead of being under him in any way, I do like a plum cupping. Because now I don't, rep I don't rely on this as much as I'm plumbing his head and pulling it down. I'll pull my rope in front of his face. I'll bring it around to my hand. And I'll use a paper cutter piece, lawnmower piece. That's a pull, I use that right between my hands there. Another way of doing that is I come around the back of the neck and I use a necktie. This is called the necktie and I push. I use a lot of these words so you understand the different features of it and it, each one of them has different value to it. On a, a rushing coming in like an MMA guy who's watched a bunch of MMA uh, videos and he's gonna come attacking me. I get two arms in, I make it to my hand, and I use my paper cutter. And that's on right away. Nice and, uh, nice and close, you know, you know, nice and tight. This is down and in, I make it to my hand, paper cutter, pushing down. There we go. Um, another good feature of this is I can strip him, uh, I can pull him down Meaning if we were in this type of range here, like this, I get a good underhook here, I can make it to my hand, and normally, if human beings and good fighters, I wouldn't be able to strip him down, I can't get at his leg. So this is what I do. I make it to my rope, I drop a level, make it under his butt, and I push him down. Holding him in, I can at that time disengage, or stop to turn him and, and then get back position. This would be a different grab, and then I pull him in this way, and I push him over, and I sit this way. Turn, 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 tap, tap. Sorry. Sorry. And then I get back position. All right. I think that's a lot for right now. That's stuff that also, you know, obviously needs to be practiced. There's a lot of uh, major, major theory in this, and more importantly, it's gonna save some lives.